Stream crash? Stream crash. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're back. back. Okay, it's just back. Sorry, for I didn't oh, want you no! to go on too far. While yeah, 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 I saw that. I was like, oh. <laughs> I was like, ah! Thank you, guys. I forget what I had missed. But he, uh, he, he turns to... He turns to Sarah and he says, Did you know that the person that was in charge of your case is an expert level tracker and they still have had no idea where you've been like the last half a year? And then you showed up well, here in do, front of me? Would you like me? to know what, where she's been for... Okay, no, I told you! I ain't touching that case with a ten-foot pole! I don't want her anywhere near me. I am honestly afraid whatever she gets involved in is contagious. Her being here... Well, she is directly involved with this. I know, and her being here and involved in this shit that I already... When I already have to deal with these savages, I don't want to get even any more tangled up with her than I have to. You're weird. You're weird. One, one prisoner who won't let her get involved into this. Well, what does that mean? You're gonna kill her? Excuse? No, she she did. Apparently, she just does whatever the fuck she wants. Right. I mean, you're not wrong. She tried to eat me once. Sarah's was, was kind of like, oh, you want to stay away from me? And now she's like, I kind of want to get close to him. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, sarah has been really quiet this whole time. Um, so I was kind of curious about what was going on through her head, and I'm really glad that that's where, <laughs> that's where she came fucking back. Not <laughs> while this... Wow. I want to I see what he smells like. While this entire <laughs> negotiation has been going on, she's actually rescued all the prisoners and she's just leaving. That would be fucking amazing. Can you imagine? I would pay to see that. That would be so cute. But you are, you are, you are all kinds of nope to me, okay? Uh, like, as, as I, I am basically like the magic guy and you are the antithesis to everything that i do and that i studied in school you 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 are you 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 mm. i can't even see it <laughs> all right easy now sorry it makes me like you more please keep talking <laughs> you actively watch as this guy Shivers, and it's this is the first thing that's made him uncomfortable <laughs> that you've seen it is her existence. Maybe we can get you to annoy him to the point where. <laughs> oh no, his arm is kind of pretty. So are we are we stuck now, or am I gonna get that spell book and that that tool? Honestly, you guys were at what three? So the spell book and the tool, that'd be a total of uh, seven of the eight that you want. Fuck it. I'll do a two for one deal. Tool and the spell book, you get the last eight. And we won't go to Nessus ever again. No retaliations. Unless you cross our path again. The tool is such a bad idea. Like, oh... No, 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 no. It's the guns, guys. Ugh. I'm still curious about what information you think you can gather from my spellbook. It's just a progress update. I, 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 can, I, I want to see how far you've come. Can spellbook please be like children's drawings? Can they be like all the spells that are represented I mean, as crayon drawings? There's, there's also the actual spells. That'd be pretty funny if it was. It's his kid's drawing. She she coded yes. his spellbook. Um, Lloyd, he looks to you and he says, well, also, you know, I'm a spellcaster of some repute. You might have a few, you know, spells in there that I never got around to copying down. Personal curiosity, if you need, a, like, a further excuse. And I guess tactically it hinders you for later. I don't want to be keeping it. Yeah. I have to use the restroom. I will be right there. It's a minor hindrance at most. I mean, yeah. That's why I'm only worth it as one unless I get the tool as well. What do you call it, anyways? 
he says to Valentin. I'll give you the information for uh, a prisoner. <laughs> oh, I like you. But no, 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 no. Too, 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 too pricey just for the information. Ding! Hey, thank you so much for supporting on the Ko-Fi. Thank you, Mini. Wow, 11%. That jumped us up a whole 3%. Thank you so much. That is thank you. all going towards uh, my cat's vet bills. So thank you so much. Also, oh. at more than 10%, I got to come up with some good uh, fundraiser rewards. Nice jump for 8-Bit. Yeah, it's excellent. She's doing a lot better, by the way, chat. I just wanted to let you all know right now. She's eating and drinking on her own now. We've got a few more vet visits just to make sure she's progressing well. And then to figure out the mysterious cause of this whole fucking issue in the first place. I really want to keep this conversation moving, you guys. Like, uh, we, I don't want to be out here in the sun any more than I have to. Doesn't he have the umbrella at this point? Yeah, he's got the umbrella. He's just being a dick. Do you realize how hot this thing is? He gestures at his mirror suit. I gesture well, at my own armor. Off. Yeah, but then what's the point of doing any of this if I'm not doing it in style? Comfort. Oh, the things I sacrifice for fashion. Do any anything do any you guys have anything else that you want or that you could offer me? I could share you my notes. Research me and my group are doing. Hey, oh we we already have access to that. Not your personal notes though. I'd be intrigued if there's anything that we didn't know in them. Do your notes differ at all? Yeah. Yeah, in fact, I learned something kind of groundbreaking in the, uh... Recently. How long have you been keeping track of, uh... Or what was the most recent that you were keeping up with the recent? Basically until you left Red Ales. <laughs> then you're missing the most important part. That is a, yeah, the notes you have so far are probably not worth much then. I understand why you're not curious about them. You're missing the best parts. Is that the truth? I need to know as the DM. I mean, we, I literally transferred a soul <laughs> from like, from a, a, an undead dude to a lantern. <laughs> oh yeah, true. Yeah. That, that would... is so like, that is, that, 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 is, <laughs> that is true. Like, that is so huge of like well, in that yes, case that should be worth everything in that case it's a persuasion not a deception but yeah no um this dude whose entire business is sucking people's souls out of their body would be very interested in that process that you would invent well i have a negative three persuasion so uh... you've got an inspiration though <laughs> inspiration okay well let's see <laughs> let's hope it goes well you can just Tell him what you had done too, without telling him the process. Then you wouldn't oh. need the persuasion. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I uh, literally transferred a, an undead soul into an object. <laughs> what? No way. Yeah. Wouldn't it be nice to know how I did that? Do you have any proof? Uh, Sandra won't say anything, anything, but she'll just yeah, she'll just wait. Lloyd? Lloyd said he held, held up the lantern. lantern. You hold out the lantern and the mirror man just... His head doesn't move because, again, he's got this top-down view of everything around him. And he goes, Huh! Well, fuck me. Okay, yeah, that's another one. You're four now. One soul for that? One person for the knowledge of how to transfer souls. Now you'll have to do the persuasion to convince them to, to, to up the price. Now you're haggling. <laughs> Wait, I, I, roll, I had advantage, so I don't know why it didn't go through. Uh, okay. well, it might have fallen off. Didn't go. Yeah, the roll itself didn't go through. Like, no no number did, so toggle advantage on and try it again. It might have uh, just... You just... Am I, have I forgotten how to do this? You just grab the dice that's 
associated with the skill and you drag it over to you the chat. You can double click swing it. it, right? You can double click it. Okay. I also hold on. I believe that you might still have an unconscious condition on you, which oh no, looks like it worked. <laughs> Holy oh. shit! Yes, that's what it is. Fuck yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Okay, give me the lantern, and you can have the rest of them as well. That was not what we just agreed upon. I'll do two for the the information, and then another two for the lantern. Then you're only down one one more person. And I'm just sitting here like, I have no idea what that lantern is. <laughs> I have no idea what I that's I still valuable. have detect magic up. Could I, like, do quick? Like, could I get, like, an advantage on the arcana check on the lantern? Nope, myself? you're more than 30 feet away from it. Lloyd's holding it. And I'll if... just, like, oh, God. I guess it's up to you guys whether or not you want to give the lantern. I'm not making the deal on that. I'm just talking about the info. Two is fine. Two is fine just for the info alone. Yeah, uh, as you get closer with your detect magic, you don't need to roll any checks. You don't know what it is, but the lantern is giving off a heavy necrotic signature. Hmm. <laughs> There's clearly Shrugs. something in it. Two, two for the information, another two if you throw in the lantern. And then you've got seven out of the eight you want. Cause I I tried what you what you're saying you did and that's what came out of it. He points to Buckethead. Hmm. Guess you're just not that good at sucking, are you? Really blow at it, huh? Oh wow, I hate you both. I feel like there's some context <laughs> here I'm not really getting on how the process works. I yeah, don't worry. I wouldn't give you the information. Freely. I would like. I'm just insulting I, you and your ability to suck. Valentin. Can I get? Can I make a roll to figure out what sort of capabilities they have to actually recreate what I've made? Because an insight not, to see if he's bluffing. It's or not. not. It's not just the the mechanical aspect of it. It's also like the physics aspect of how well, how how bullet work you know you could give him the gun and no bullets he doesn't know about the bullets he's made a claim that they have someone in his organization that by touching an object they can see the past of the object right but i'm wondering if just by seeing the past of the object would they know like the like physics behind how the projectile would come flying out or would they just say oh projectile comes flying out and then they wouldn't know how to actually make recreate in the same way because this isn't this isn't just the the history of the object it's also like the knowledge of how physics work in general and chemistry have... and everything they, they have wouldn't the people for this. They wouldn't be like, able it to. It sounds like they have yeah. the resources. You're 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 not. You're, roll me roll me something for it. It's you're you're just gonna mostly get a. Is he confident that they can do it or not though? There, there there's there. I mean, also the bullet is a separate object, so. He feels pretty confident that they could figure it out. It might not be immediate. It's not like you're going to hand it to them and they're going to fucking put it in a 3D printer and have a thousand of them that work perfectly. It's something that you feel that you would be speeding up. You'd be giving them a technological advancement they might not have come to themselves for, like, another decade or so. You'd be speeding things up, but you wouldn't be handing it and then the next day you start seeing rage monsters with blunderbusses. Yeah, but it's still it's still such a such a dark thing to consider giving the bad guys the technological advance. And Valentin, I know that you know history pretty well. It would be the equivalent mm. of when guns found their way to Japan. But it wouldn't be because they didn't make their own guns; they just yeah. imported them. Yeah, right. But they eventually figured certain things out. But like yeah. I was saying, just the gun might not necessarily be something important if they can't also recreate the bullet 
Yeah. Because the idea of a bullet cartridge took a long time to develop. They'd be able to see what was being fired by the gun with if, if he's telling the truth about being able to see in the past, but they wouldn't see the make of that. And this guy doesn't right. know so enough would, about the they tool. They wouldn't be able to figure out like the primer, the gunpowder, yeah. the casing. Yeah, they, they'd see all these ingredients and then need to do their own research to figure would out they, the ingredients. And would they have the uh, like metallurgy to... Um... He feels confident that they'd be able to figure it out. And you feel like you'd be speeding up discoveries. Again, you don't think that they're going to have everything figured out immediately. He feels confident that they'd be able to figure it out on their time scale and their timeline for what they're doing. And that it is worth the lie. It is, it is the most valuable thing he has negotiated for so far. Apart from now the lantern the in total make like destroyed a little bit or like remove a screw or some part yeah i'd let you to sleight of hand it to sabotage it but do remember that if, if he's telling the truth about seeing the history of the gun it won't matter if he sabotages it yeah also just missing screws or something wouldn't really prevent reverse engineering yeah uh lantern lantern talk that's for four people. Are you giving him the lantern or just the information? He's doing two for the information, two for the lantern itself. I don't know what like, the lantern is, so I'm going to abstain. If... Come strapped or get clapped. I don't think like I said, I'm going to leave the... Them. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm going to leave the lantern up to the other people. Zandra's only only talking about the information. That's up to them if they want to do the lantern. I mean, I, even though the the soul that's in the lantern is no longer in its body, I, this feels still... It's like the equivalent of giving them another person to do yeah. it. It doesn't it, no, feel right. No, same. I don't it's, think we should either. Lloyd's the one holding the lantern. Yep. I'm gonna laugh so hard if he just silently gives the lantern over. Lloyd is such a wild card with the party, you never know if he's gonna help them or not. Uh, Lloyd is not willing to give up the lantern. There he goes, alright, I tried. Alright, so that's a total of five. You got three people left, and he looks to Valentin. I... Mm. I could give you this. I could also show you a way to make it easier for those less dexterous to use it in return for the remaining prisoners all of them i'd be willing to go up to maybe one more of the others that we'd already negotiate that i'd get to keep but not all of them i'm sorry it's just it's not worth that much i've already gotten a pretty good look at it and i can at least describe what it did explain it and i'm assuming we're going to run into each other again you types always seem to have a way of uh, showing up. Generally, though, you can be bought off. I'm surprised that you guys are sticking to your morals so hard. I genuinely feel like you're making this deal out to be... You're putting such a high value on these hostages. The gun will t change untold amounts of... change everything about combat. If you get a hold of that tool and yet you think it's only worth three hostages you think those three hostages will change that much no i think i can talk you down to three and still get it or just simply be okay with not getting it for that yeah I i'm not valuing it based on what i think their values are i'm valuing them based on what you think they are or what i perceive you think that they are at the very least well, so you've asked for the gun for how many times for three, and we've turned it down every time, and you haven't. It hasn't your offer? been turned down yet. I haven't heard a uh, heard a no. Well, then no. 
Is it a no? He says to Valentin. This is a one of a kind, and you're telling me that it's only worth three. I'll throw in 50 gold. Is 50 gold what you think a person's life is worth? Oh no, I have killed people for far less. Valentin, no. Please. I mean, she doesn't say his name, sorry. She would have the presence of mind at least to not do that. Mm -hmm. I just forgot what your stupid fake name was. Moss, <laughs> no. I mean, uh, he said his name. The, yeah, he said his real name. name. He said his real name. Yeah, from the beginning. Yep. Oh, okay. If it's a no, we can move on. Valentin, just tell him no. Yeah, Valentin, just tell me no, that your tool isn't worth three people. Please. Draw that line in the sand where your morals are... at. It's because the souls are worth far more. Is it? That too. Or because they're not worth enough. That literally doesn't make any sense. Why would they not be worth enough? Why would be why would we be willing to go for less people? I don't know, ask him. Well, I guess that we are at a point where there's nothing else I really want from you all. Meaning, at this point, I think I'm willing to close down negotiations where I'll be keeping a total of seven. You guys can take a total of five. And if that's not good enough for you, then I guess we'll have to fight it out. If it is, why don't we go and pick out your guys' five? Huh? Isn't that fun? It's disgusting. <laughs> you get to pick out which kind of, which ones you like the best? Like auctioning off farm cattle. Oh, wise cattle. leader, why are you not speaking? Why are you being silent while the rest of us are doing these negotiations? Thunder kind of just snaps it, Valentin. Okay. Very well. Very well. We're going to pick out the five. Right this way, then. I would like to show you. He turns. Exactly. How the gun works. If you would like me to show you. Hell yeah, demonstration added on top. Sure. Take his pills. But I still want to take it, the object. For the remaining three. So what are you gonna do? You gonna mm. you gonna use it on me? You gonna use it on one of the spellish? You gonna use it on someone else here? I'm sorry, guys. It is far too late for me to be doing this. So um, you guys deal with it however you want. It sounds like the majority is saying no to the trade. Yeah, no, I'm, 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 I'm hearing, I'm hearing it. I'm, um, it's too late for me to continue for tonight. Okay, I'm sorry, Valentin. I hope that you have a nice night. Oh. As to the rest, oh, okay. I'm gonna assume it's a no on the, uh, the gun thing. Then, Mirror Man it's just says, negatory. "Yep, the party didn't want to trade it over. That's fine." So, uh, let's go pick out the lucky five. 
I'll do two for my spell book. I'll give the last three for the spell book and the lantern. So the spell book to you is only worth one now instead of two it was before? No, it's always been only been worth one. If he threw in the, the tool, it would have been worth a little bit more, maybe. Spellbook for... Uh, you know what, Lloyd? You can roll me a persuasion, actually. I allowed Zandra to roll one. I may as well have you as well. Okay. You have an inspiration, should you wish to spend it. I mean, you stated with the spellbook that it was not just to see progress, but also personal curiosity. Is that not worth two things? <laughs> That's a pretty good argument. You can get an advantage just for free without an inspiration on that. <laughs> he is really curious about you and your spellbook. Chat, chat wants this guy dead. <laughs> yeah, because he's a fucking asshole. I told you, I, I had, I warned the players before the sweat session that this guy was a dick. I had to. Uh, 15? Where are we on half a person? <laughs> he says, turning to Buckethead again. We agreed that that's not on the table. Then I'm full people only. I'm real sorry. I'd go half a person for uh, a, a spell book. And you know what? Throw in, um, throw in your arcane focus, and I'll do a whole nother person. Sound good? Just because I feel like I'm really coming out of this ahead right now, guys. And then you just pick. Uh, hell, you don't even need to pick which ones you take. You just pick the unlucky person that you're gonna have uh, stay back with me. Fuck, if you want, I can have them draw straws or vote on whoever gets to stay. What if I gave you a Fuck piece of me? Is that worth anything to you? Oh, hold on. Terry, you're muted. Uh, I was going to say to uh, uh, Lloyd, uh, using psionic mind, I could just make you a new focus. Because that's what the subclass, the artillerist subclass is all about. <laughs> yep. Making magical focuses and all that. Yep. Well, it seems like we are asking for the same thing. My spellbook is my focus. Oh, it is? Shit. Then. <laughs> ah, no extra then. But it was a separate item then. Conceivably be worth two? No, it doesn't or raise it the value one? of it. I, I, I was already pretty sure I was going to get the spellbook for one. I do one and a half. And then you just have to come up with something else that would only be worth a half to get a whole person out of it. It's like dealing in gold and silver. You seem to know something about me. What if I gave oh, you a handy. piece of me? Is that worth anything to you? Oh, no, absolutely not. You are you are an, a 100% a mistake and shouldn't even exist. You you looking at you is just reminding me of my failure to uh to accomplish something. Is that something you'd want to keep hidden from? You... Like, no more than an embarrassing fart. Turn. No more than an embarrassing fart. It's embarrassing, I'm never gonna hear the end of it, but not enough to actually threaten me. At the mention of farts, um... Uh... <laughs> uh D Didi looks over at, um, Serario and, like, kind of motions her eyes towards him, like, go... Go, go, Bob. Go do what you do. <laughs> go, go be. This is this is called um, positive enforcement in terms of adding a negative thing <laughs> or adding a bad thing to an environment. <laughs> um, and the removal of that bad thing is uh, the uh, the reward <laughs> in this case. So she's just like looking over, gesturing with her eyes at Serario towards this dude, and then back to Serario again. Serario sees Dee Dee looking over and she's like, I'd like to say there's no such thing as an embarrassing fart. I'd love to show you right now. If you take a single step towards me, I'm going to turn you into something embarrassing. I don't know what that is, but I disagree. It sounds fun. You are so fucking hey, hey, River. weird. Hi. River? Yes. I think, I think the chat wants to see the map. Oh, the chat wants to see the map? Yeah, sure. Let me show it to you guys. Is there, River, is there some way that we could use Serario to, like, basically annoy him or creep him out enough 
that he just wants to get rid of her. Like that's that's the he wants us to get rid of us. Like he'll he'll add you in. You want that to annoy extra him. Person. You want to annoy yes, him I into. I want to it. annoy him into. Yeah, have him just want to never fucking see us again. Like with Serario, because he seems really grossed out by her. All right, Sarah. And he hasn't he even. Us. Like this is the first time he's even met her. All right, Sarah. So, again, this is negative. <laughs> Positive reinforcement, which means we're adding a bad thing to try right. to get him to stop. Okay, hold on. Sarah. <laughs> Take it away. How annoying are you going to be? I mean, I think I'm being normal, but obviously to him it's... <laughs> go, go on. Let, let Take it away. Do, do something. What do you do? She liked to kind of pipe up and she was like, I've noticed you've been really mean to everybody. And I just like to say, I find that really intriguing and quite attractive. And I think I need to teach you <laughs> exactly how a good fart is because you said that's embarrassing and I think that's fucking offensive. If you're what calling him a fart, that's fucking what amazing. The fuck? What the fuck? What? What? <laughs> are you, are you completely de de like detached from the situation going on right now? I have been manipulating all of your group with difficult questions about morals and trying to turn you against each other and you're coming out here saying it's turning you on? What the fuck is wrong with you? We ask yeah, her that sounds about advice. right for her. As the entire party nods along with what you're saying. Oh, yeah. oh my Didi god. Didi just smiles. <laughs> oh my god. All right, Serario, roll me a persuasion. Could could our like collective agreement give her the help action? Yeah, yeah. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Because you have an advantage. Yeah, he's like he's dealing with her right now. Oh my god, do it, oh, do, yeah. it, do, it do it, do it one more time to see if you get a nat twenty. Just in case if you get a nat twenty. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay. If you don't do something so nice to us for this, because that was incredible. You know what? <laughs> Fine. Total of seven. Total of seven out of the eight people you want. I'm not even going to make her promise or swear or cast any spells on her to make sure she keeps her word or anything like that. Total of seven. So long as if, if we ever get into a fight, she promises she won't cast any spells at me. Hell, I won't cast any spells at her either. I'm gonna just go ahead and pretend she doesn't exist. If Wait, we ever come to blows <laughs> ever again. How do we go from seven out of eight to seven out of eight? But she... Yeah. But Cause it was what? only five out of eight, six for the spell book, seven now without Lloyd's spell book. But I'm not taking the spell book for the last one. You know why? Because I want you to leave one behind now. Because I really think it's going to make me happy. To watch all of you who claim to have the moral high ground. Even though I know what most of you have done in your past. No you don't. <laughs> with with said most, with an uh, I said most, and with an <laughs> a, an understandable exception. But I'll let you Very decide who gets left behind, and you can either let them figure it out themselves. They can draw straws. They can vote, or you can pick. Man, that's interesting we roll a nat 20 and we still don't get the last person i mean this guy's an asshole you <laughs> not just didn't change anything it didn't change a thing we're not we're not giving the gun we don't have to give the spell book like the, that's what is changing it's yep. changing what we have to give up what yep. we have to give to him mm -hmm. I so it is changing pull. it it's just not changing the numbers it's changing what we, what he's manipulating out of us. I can pull one final gambit, but we'd have to move under the assumption that we're giving up one. And that's like a very, very last, last straw. I mean, unless you have some way to communicate that to us without He does, knowing, psionic mind. Do. I do. He has a unique ability to send telepathic messages that this guy can't pick up. You're probably going to have to tell us your plan, man. So I would, like, over the course of these conversations, because my character's been kind of quiet the whole time, just, like, describe to each of you 
my plan, which would be if we get him, go with him to the prison cells, we would not, we would be surrounded, yes, but so would he. So if I spill the beans in that moment on the fact that they've been lying to their commander, they have more pressure on them to not be revealed as a traitor in that moment. And that pressure means we walk out with the extra person. That is the very Hail Mary, we would die if this doesn't work attempt we have here. But it would fuck him up too. I feel like the odds are that that would just get everyone killed. You know, I did just have a thought as well. Oh? Doesn't need to be a villager that I take back with me. Maybe one of you wants to make the big noble sacrifice. I thought my life was worth one of them. Well, you said I was worth a fart, but, uh... No, I don't want you. You're exempt from that. So is she before anybody tries to get me to take her. <laughs> I, like, look at <laughs> Soraria. Like, I volunteer as tribute. <laughs> Soraria's like, me, me, me. No! Yeah? <laughs> Do you take us? One of you. Even but... Me? No, no, not you, darling. Like I said, you're rejected. Wait, There's what? one of you... Wait, when did he say I was rejected? You were rejected. They, they, they had considered on recruiting you. Earlier. Yeah, they, they considered on recruiting you and rejects. then decided against it. Well, so if we're all rejects, then what does he mean he'll take us, but he won't because we're not because we're rejects I'm there's one he takes us but he doesn't take us. there's one he wants to take i'm guessing you want valentin for his knowledge of his object no god no he seems really annoying and like he'd keep trying to escape i want that one and he points at tear he's got a personal connection to these people information that we would want that we would access and he revealed that he could definitely get me in a lot of trouble. Hmm. And you, I'll even let you walk free. But you're going to meet my boss and you're going to talk to him. And why exactly would I do that? Because he's going to give you a job offer. Would I have the liberty to refuse? Or is this less of an offer and more of a... Uh, I mean, you could refuse, servitude. but... You could refuse, but I don't think that you would. <sighs> I would just... I joined up him. willingly. That's not saying much. You don't know who I, I stare am. I at him willingly, telepathically, and like stare daggers into him. And everyone will just, he will just hear. Never mind. Uh, I lost my train of thought. Sorry, it's late. <laughs> um, uh, I had something, but gone. <laughs> What do you think you could offer me? They could offer me. A purpose that finally feels correct. Hmm. Now that's absolutely vague and meaningless to me. You like I said. Specify something. Nah. You come with me or don't. 
Thank you for the follow, Panda Wolf 525. I will just sort of say telepathically to his mind. They don't need to know. Neither do you until you're, we're there. I can't make the offer. You just have to talk to the big man yourself. But it gets... You are after your own skin. My knowledge. And my services. As a combatant, inventor, surveyor, what have you. I wear many hats. Was, oh, that was a question? I'm like, okay, out of character. Is there something that we can, like, negotiate back from him? The, the last person. Like, no. Is there something we can, like, request? Oh, right, we just gave him knowledge. Shit. We can't really put that cap back in the bag. Mm-hmm. You know what? There's a time limit on this. Going once. Going twice. Fine. Sold to the Ugly Gem Dragonborn. All right. How do you want to do this? He looks to Buckethead. You got all eight? I get my knowledge and uh, what I wanted. Bring the eight out here. We don't want to go into the middle of your camp to find them. Works for me. He turns to the Svelish and uh, repeats a few things in their language, and uh, some of the uh, berserkers head off to unleash the prisoners. They're back very, very quickly with eight uh, humanoids. These are the prisoners that you had seen. Um, now you're getting a better look at them. You can see that uh, they are very clearly unwell. And... The mirror man says, D -d don't worry, I'm going to fix whatever's wrong with them once you are a decent distance away from the camp. Keeps you honest until then. What is wrong with them? Well, you know of how you guys said that you took one soul out of something and put it into something else? <clears throat> what we do is kind of similar what we're doing right now where um, I want you to imagine a painting, okay? And then just keep adding one color to that painting until the whole thing is one color and you can't see the original painting beneath it. It's basically what we're doing to them. What you're giving us, Zandra, is a way that we might potentially be able to reverse the process and manipulate and change it up a little bit more rather than the brutish way that I've been doing it so far. River, can I use my divine sense on them? Yep. Do you, I have to roll you, anything for that? No, no, no. You activate your divine sense. None of them ping as undead yet. They're clearly okay. moving along the way, but the mirror man's claiming that uh, where they're at is reversible. And once you guys are a certain distance away from the camp, he will re somehow remotely reverse or at least stop the process. You haven't asked him if there's any recovery or if it's just going to stop it. How exactly are you going to fix them? <laughs> I'm not willing to reveal the, my process. <laughs> but once they survive, they will survive. I'm not going to screw you guys over on anything. I what do I gain by doing so? You come back here with more dudes, and then I'm 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 we're just back where we fucking started. Except I'm out negotiation power. I want you to go away as much as you want to go away. Go back to Nessus. Live your small little lives. May we never cross paths again.
Is there anything else we need to do then? The nope. the balls in Terra's court. Yep. He's got to come over here. Uh, you just got to slide your research papers over. Um, she just has to, you know, not look at me. Seriously, why is she still looking at me? I will... Uh, the research papers are from Lloyd? No. Zandra. Or Zandra. Zandra pulls out her notebook that she's been taking her notes in. I will reach over... And using telepathy, I say, I don't like this. If you I have a means of contacting me from long distance, do it. And if the word comes out, I'll do what I can to, at the very least, tank this man's reputation. Can I reply back, or is it just a one-way thing? Is it It's unfortunately mind? a one-way thing. It's a one-way thing. Sandra will just kind of, like, look you in the eyes so that you can tell that she's listening. She understands. <sighs> you can let go of the papers. She hands them over. I'll take them. I will... sort of look through them myself for a moment. At that, 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 that. And while I'm doing that, I will continue to sort of... At that, 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 that. The mere man calls out as you start looking through them. No, 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 none of that. I paid for that. Not you. I'm a scientist and an arcanist. Forgive me for being a little bit curious. Hey, you end up joining us, you'll get a look, chance to look through them all the, your, yourself eventually. Fuck, I might use you to come back... Well, boss might use you to come back here and tell the others about what a great experience you have working for us. Who knows? Something makes me doubt that. No. I will... I want to just say to Zandra... Like one time. Sorry for everything. And that was telepathic or not? Telepathic. I'm attempting to stay stoic, but I I do want to make that clear. Sandra kind of when you when since you took the papers, you're close enough, she reaches out a hand to you. I look at it. A little bit confused, but... Do you mean for... him to take it? You've never seen a handshake before. No, I just... You gotta keep in mind, she doesn't know that you blasted her in the face with the fireball as well, by the way. <laughs> She was unconscious, and then she woke up, and you didn't tell her you <clears throat> did that, so. <laughs> Forgive me. What I mean to apo- Yes, I'm apo- And I'll say this out loud. Yes, I'm apologizing for this, but I'm also apologizing for listening to this cruel individual. Oh my god, I'm not cruel, I'm just callous. Mistakes happen. No. These kinds of mistakes. These are just... Some are unforgivable. And I'll just, like, hold a hand, but I won't quite shake it. Zonder will squeeze I... your hand a little bit tighter and say... Forgiveness is not for you to decide, and I forgive you. I will be right back. For nearly killing you? I push her hand, like, back away. No. I don't think I'd accept that even if you did give it freely. Even if you did remember. And I, like, stab, like, tap my staff and 
it would light up with a bit of fire. So I'm sorry for many things in this moment. <laughs> but mostly for the not for not having the opportunity to make it up. You already did. Now, with this deal you've made. You've more than made it up. I'm back. God say so. <sighs> I would have given my life if you'd have taken it. I hope you know I'm implying I was the one that knocked you out. Yes, I'm aware. I'm and I'm saying that my life Sorry. You're fine. <laughs> About that. It's that's all no, this is not okay. <laughs> Is uh, this meta speak or are we role playing still? I <laughs> can't tell. Like the laugh is 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 me not being unable to contain it, but he is the one who's saying like, no, that's not okay. <sighs> Nothing more to say then. And then he'll sort of turn away with the papers. Take me to the prisoners. He brought the prisoners here. Yeah, they're, they're, oh, they're, 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 yeah, they're, they're right over oh, there. I fucking forgot that detail. Sorry, my bad. I was roll I was too deep into the RP. Um <sighs> Take your notes. And I'll just uh hand them over to him. Hello? Hello? Hi, yes. Sorry. Uh you he he takes the notes and Um just 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 for clarity, I don't think it changes anything because I doubt that he can't figure it out, but the the the, the notes are not written in common. Totally fine. Yeah, he doesn't even glance at them for now. Yeah. He... Could I? Yeah. I'm just going to speak to the Mayran. May I have a moment with another member of my group? Holy shit. How long do you need? Fine. Yeah, go ahead. I just. Don't you guys want to get out of here? Don't you have shit to do? Yes, but this is a. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Take as long tradition. as you need. Take it. Go, go. Fuck. Give me the notes. He takes them. Go! Should <laughs> talk with whoever you gotta talk uh, to. I will go up to Buckethead and Valentin. And though I am hesitant, I will like tap the spine of my little dragon boy and offer it to Valentin in this moment. I suppose, or in this case, Buckethead, since he's the one here. Um, and that is my Artillerous, or uh, Eldritch Cannon. Uh, I'm not sure how many uses you would get out of it, or if you would be able to. But maybe DM can say some, like, cute, like, little dragon trinkets up here on his armor, or what have you. Uh, if... Valentin can reverse engineer this. It might be useful. I imagine regardless, I'll be making another one for them. So, you might as well have it. And it's a very quick exchange, but in your in their hands, they now have a silvered dragon uh, that has uh, bright yellow eyes on it uh, that can that animates off of my arm and then wraps around whoever's carrying it um before deanimating completely uh tight to whatever gauntlets you have uh it is very light and it fe looks at a glance like just an ornament or uh a decoration and if the dm decides that's all it is <laughs> but yeah that that's what happened 
That was to Lloyd? To, uh, to Valentin. Because he's the gunner. You'll need, a gunner. You'll need to DM it to him. Yes. Perfect. Uh, but that, 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 that do be what happened. Because if anyone could do anything with that, it would be them. <laughs> Presumably. I'd hope. Yeah. Uh, you'll have to just DM him the description and uh, uh, get him set up. Let him know what's uh, what's going on with it. All right. Anybody have any more goodbyes to tear? Deirdre nods. A look of understanding at the sacrifice that he's making. Be well. I'll do my best. All right. Uh, with that, the mirror man says, I get the feeling we've had a successful negotiation today. I really think that we've learned a lot about ourselves and each other. But I'm assuming that if our path should ever cross again, there's going to be a whole lot of murdering. And I'm going to warn you right now. You're not going to get the jump on me like that a second time. So. We'll see about that. Take. I don't even want to hear that from you, freak. I've already snuck up on you once. <laughs> Go be free. Live your little small lives. Your little small town. But I want you to think about something. Tonight and every night thereafter, I want you to look out over the desert as the moon rises. And I want you to think about For what I'm doing. For someone who wants us to leave you. Fine, fine, yourself. fuck! I was trying to get in one final cool monologue for style, but whatever, go on. Go, I will go, not go. let you. All right. <laughs> Shoot, go on, get. Zondra's already walking away. Okay, bye! Dicks. Hope to never see you again. After. I wait until kissed. everybody else has passed and kind of take up a rear guard. As you guys walk away. Once they are at a safe distance, Tear, very far away, perhaps it's the next night or the night after, the mirror man approaches you and says one final thing to you before we're going to uh, fade back to the party. So I gotta know, did you guys really have an army behind you? <laughs> just let it up, just lie. <laughs> silently. And not say anything. Ugh, you are no fun. <laughs> All no. right. With that, I think this seems like a good natural end point. Yes. A mysterious organization has been discovered with mysterious <laughs> fingers and a lot. I don't want to learn anything else about this organization. <laughs> if he's any indication of what the organization is like, I could go the rest of the campaign without hearing anything else about them. Well, I mean, the implication that they've directly influenced and affected our lives Presumably, in all of the horrible things that each of us have experienced in our past, well, that's um, means that we're going to be dealing with them no matter what. Well, yeah, I know we're going to deal with them. He's made it sound like they're far too important for us not to deal with them. I just don't want to deal with them anyway. This is actually yeah. an open-ended campaign. Um, I have general plot hooks, but you guys decide what you pick up and what you put down. If you never want to run into the Mirror Man or his group or whatever he works for again... You can continue not exploring that quest line and what's going on behind it. Remember, I never even expected to f have you guys find out he existed. Mm -hmm. You did a lot of stuff and saved these people I thought were already beyond your reach in my writing. So you got a glimpse at some of the plot that's going on between all of this campaign and the sister campaigns. I wonder now, my players who are in Last Stand, if any of them are watching and wondering how much of Stan's problems could have been caused by this organization. 
I wonder if the people in Stolen Valor question now who stole the Imperial Seal and why. But congratulations on being the first players in any Hasalia campaign I have ran to have run into a member of that organization directly now. The only group. Yeah, uh, well... It's an honor that's... <laughs> yeah, no, it's not, it's not honor. I wish I did. <laughs> you guys surprise me in so many ways every time. First off, uh, before we end, can we get a big shout out and a thank you for Boop for being our guest player? Yeah, Boop. I owe you all a one shot or mini campaign. Thank you. Uh, I'll so say it right now. <laughs> thank you so much, Boop, for coming. It was a great time to have Tara around. And uh, you, you really blew me away with how you played that character from what we had originally discussed. Yeah, he blew me away too. <laughs> <laughs> and uh i hope tonight that you guys had fun exploring what your characters would do mm -hmm. in a situation like this i know it's it's a tense situation and uh i hope that you guys had fun and enjoying it i sometimes like moral questions and what's right what's wrong is there a right or wrong so i hope that you guys enjoyed it all tonight too i hope my viewers did it sounds like everybody really wants to fuck up the mirror man Except for Luminous. Luminous seems to love them. Lumin yeah, Luminous is like, oh my god. Luminous is the, the IRL is... Sarah who wants to actually... <laughs> the Mirror Man is intriguing in like a weird narcissistic serial killer or like anti-hero sort of way. But the organization he works for and all the things that they're doing are really, really fucked. Is that correct? I, god damn it. I, I never want nope. to see it again. <laughs> I tried. Hi. Oop, Hi. Bot. I can't I can't do it again. Just say there he is. There he is in the chat. Boop bot right there, guys. Go ahead, give him a follow. This guy, he's uh was our guest player. He's been absolutely amazing. Uh with that, we're gonna raid another great content creator. Thank you guys so much for all of your support tonight. Um remember that we have the Ko-Fi going on right now, which we are trying to uh raise funds for um my uh my my cat. Sorry, I'm feeling a little ill, guys. I'm uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start the raid. I hope that you guys have a great night, and I'll see you all uh, tomorrow with Final Fantasy XIV raid night. All right, bye, guys. See you soon. Bye, bye, bye. 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 bye.